All right, the time is now 6.40. We are talking rain chances, but honestly, we need the rain. So, you know, it's kind of give and take. That's right. It was an extremely wet start to 2024 and then a wet start to April. And then kind of this back half of April, we've chilled off on the rainfall. And with the peaches coming out, blueberries coming out, we could really use it across central Georgia. And we're going to have the chance to get some as we work our way here into the next week or so. A live look over downtown. The sun coming up on this Monday morning. 54, the current number. 83 is where we are headed later. Later on today, going to add some clouds steadily through the day today, eventually towards mostly sunny and partly cloudy skies. The radar picture quiet for now and really it's going to be quiet through the day today. It's tomorrow where we begin to pick up some of that activity and the energy from that system is actually producing showers and storms back into Mississippi and Louisiana this morning, even some severe weather in and around the Houston area about an hour ago. So this exact system is not going to look like this when it gets to central Georgia. Instead, it's going to kind of provide uh, the boundary, if you will, for some some isolated shower and storm activity into tomorrow. 54 in Macon, 58 in Warner Robins this morning, 55 in Gordon, 52 in Dublin, and 59 down in Vidalia. We check out Future View through the afternoon hours and we find temperatures getting their way into the upper 70s fairly quick. And then looking at low 80s later on this afternoon with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. On into the night tonight, going to see some more clouds begin to build back in. Temperatures not quite as cool tomorrow morning because of that. Upper 50s and low 60s. And then through tomorrow afternoon, mainly after the 2 o'clock hour, going to be looking for some isolated heavy downpours, maybe even a storm or two. Not everybody's going to see rain, but those who do could see one of those brief heavy downpours. And even then, some of that will last into the overnight hours. Look at this by 5, 6 o'clock, still hanging on to a couple showers with the possibility of a storm. Wednesday going to look a lot like Tuesday, a 30% chance for rain. If you do happen to catch a shower, kind of like in the summertime, it is going to help out your temperatures for a bit. Otherwise, looking at mid 80s prevailing for highs. On into Thursday, drying out, not looking at much of a rain chance there. Friday, maybe a little bit. I kept it off for now. I think that better drain chance is actually going to come on Saturday. You can see a fairly good agreement, especially from the European model, that we're going to see some radar activity, at least on Saturday. I don't know how much just yet. Once we get close closer and get this into some of our shorter range models, we'll get a better idea, but another 20% chance of rain there on Sunday. So as Caitlin was alluding to, yes, we could use the rain back on April 10th. We received two inches of it, but since then we've only picked up just over a half inch in the past two weeks. So now for the month of April, we are technically down by one one hundredth of an inch, and that was on top of an extremely wet January, an extremely wet February and March. Now April is right at average, so hoping that's not starting a new trend. Over the weekend, made it to 78 on Saturday and 79 on Sunday. Two below average days, actually expecting them to be a bit warmer, but they weren't. And we have the cloud cover to thank for that. That cloud cover, not going to be around today. 83, the afternoon high temperature, 84 tomorrow, up to 88 on Wednesday. A 30% chance of showers and storms both days. You could stay dry both days. Do you want to highlight that fact before we get to 90 on Thursday? Some more showers and storms in here for the weekend.